everyone i hope you're doing okay so this is chosen the yeshua i'm back again with a new video and i hope you're doing super super well i know it's been a very long time since i have posted a video sharing a testimony or sharing some of the things that the, the holy spirit has been teaching me on this journey but uh, yeah i'm back yes i'm back and i'm back with a new testimony with uh, a new experience to share with you and i really hope that this is going to encourage you um so let's start by prayer because i'm feeling super excited and i just hope that the holy spirit will help me like put everything in order so that this testimony may bless your lives yeah, let's pray so father jesus i come before you again father god i pray that this video may bless all those who listen to me all those who will listen to this testimony i pray that you may speak to their hearts yahweh may you use me may you re remind me of the things father god that you have taught me that can help someone father god i pray that you lead me in jesus name i bind every spirit of darkness of destruction of misunderstanding of misinterpretation in the mighty name of jesus and i pray that only your spirit reigns in this place in jesus mighty name i pray amen so yes i hope you're doing okay so yeah let's jump into the testimony uh, so today's testimony is about um, it's about intercession. So for those who follow me on IG, you know that I sometimes post uh, intercession flyers and I ask my followers to send me their intercession requests. And um, I've been doing it for some time already. Like this year, it will be the fourth year. In October, I will have completed four years of personal intercession. So I really praise God for this. I really praise God for this because it's one of the things that I never thought I would do. Like in serving God, I never thought that intercession would be part of it. But uh, um, yeah, let's jump into how did I start all this? Like how did intercession come? So. A little bit of background before jumping into the ministry thing and all that the Lord has been doing through this. So I started interceding for people in 2019, in the month of October. That's the 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 moment where I really heard the voice of God, uh, or let me say, that's the time where I felt the conviction of God to jump into intercession but i started it in october 2019 on 17th october i know the date because i put it on my calendar so every year i remember and also every month on the 17th i remember i've done one more month of intercession and that's always it's like my way of thanking god and my way also of reminding myself that hey you're an intercessor so please don't be distracted so i really praise god so as i said i started intercession in 2019 october but i heard the call of god a little bit earlier so that was back when i was just like a newly born christian i was just discovering god i was just discovering all this um you know all this life in jesus and i was just really fresh into christ i all that mattered to me was jesus i would read my bible i was thirsty but i was also like discovering like the realities of christianity like this moment when you really uh when you realize that uh, you know it's not like uh, all pink all paradise life but you actually realize that your heart is uh, that uh, your heart needs transformation your heart needs uh, healing and all those things i was in that phase of my life i could take some time and pray i was discovering the depth of my wounds in christ i was just like you know when you spend a lot of time with god i don't know he just unveils things and he 
brings those, those hidden things to the surface so that's that was the season i was in i really praise god because i had this time where i was really like pouring out to god you know as a newly born i was very very ignorant about the things of god i was just new but i had the grace of spending much 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 time with god because i was at school and i had no friend yet i was you know far from my family and stuff so god was my family my friend everything so i would spend lots and lots of time with him so i was just discovering the depth of my wounds i could spend time in prayer ask god to transform me to change me and i also had this thirst to like please god i would pray and say god i want to see you when you come back i want to see you i want to please you i had like you know this clash where my spirit longs for transformation but at, at the same time my soul is is craving into the wounds of my past that haven't healed yet so i was in just like this season of my life and then i remember the uh one night as i was praying i heard a voice telling me intercession intercession like twice it said intercession intercession i was like okay <laughs> I am busy praying for my wounds to heal. I am busy seeking the face of God for myself. And I hear this voice telling me intercession, intercession. I was like, okay, what is this? But then because I was uh, really thirsty for God, I just took note of it. And when I kept praying for it, I felt God, you know, inspiring me to praying for my family. So I started off by praying for my family every week i had a day where i could fast and pray for my family but it was super hard for me because as i told you the wounds that i had uh, they were so deep that I, i didn't understand how am i going to spend my prayers <laughs> the prayers that i could use to heal how am i going to spend them on the life of someone else and maybe of someone who hurt me you know so it was really hard for me to pray Um I remember when I started interceding like obeying to that voice I would start and say God uh, I pray for so and so I started with my family but it was really funny I was like I pray for so and so may you bless them may you show yourself to them may you heal him because this and that and that and then while I was busy praying for the person I could remember my own pain and I could be like God <laughs> please remember me as well you know i'm struggling with this so my in- my intercession was really funny i started like that and then after some time i kind of got like discouraged but i could still have like that day in the week where i pray and fast for my family even though most of the time it could end being me praying for myself instead of praying for my family but then i kept the discipline despite the fact that i was not really doing uh intercession but i tried and this is one of the things that i really want to to share with you you know sometimes we think that um uh once god has told us to do something then we jump in it we need to be perfect we we like in a snap do it but the truth is that uh as human beings <laughs> you know there is a lot to work on so when god tells you to do something and you don't and you're not able to do it like on the first day the thing is you should keep the consistency because it's not about the things you do but it's about the heart that is pursuing the heart of god it's about the heart that is seeking to obey the command of god because you know as human beings we are weak we we are not able to do everything that god tells us to do like perfectly sometimes we try we make it sometimes we fail but the more the most important thing to god is that you you show thirst to obey so i really praise god that he enabled me even though me <laughs> intercession was a whole challenge but i kept on doing it fasting every week for my family praying for them praying for my family members that i knew had problems and stuff like that but it was very difficult so with time i went on and then at some point i think i kind of you know dropped it <laughs> as it happened i dropped it a little bit and then that was the the day i heard the 
the voice telling me intercession intercession i think it was like in march 2019 and then um and then i tried failed i went for holidays and when i came back in september i had again this much time with god and i can say that with time i was starting to feel the burden for my family because when i went for holidays and i came back you know seeing your family again and you you just feel like i don't know the the lord had put like a kind of burden in me for them again so i kind of got out of my holidays with um, with uh, the ability to pray for my family so i was praying more often for them every week now it was really like a discipline and i of course was praying for myself i was no longer like you know very yeah and um towards october the month of october i don't know one day i don't actually remember how it all happened but i remember uh i was praying it was a thursday and i felt god really speaking to me like i was having my usual time with god and then i heard god speaking to me and telling me i want you to start interceding for people every thursday and every sunday and i just felt you know a conviction that was coming like that and that's another point i want to underline is that um, intercession i would say is a call you know it's a call it's not something that should do for appearing or for seeming holy you know it's not something that you do for your own for yourself or for showing that yeah i'm a christian and i can pray for people no it's not it's not that it's really something it's a call it's a burden it's a mission that god gives you and i feel like reading this verse in um ephesians ephesians uh chapter is it chapter six Yes, I think it's chapter 6 after they speak about the armor. Yeah, chapter 6 for verse 18. The Bible says I'm reading from NIV. It says and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. You know, it's a verse that uh, it's something that Paul was telling to the church in Ephesus. <laughs> I don't know how to call that please. But yeah, Paul was telling them, pray for everyone F in all occasions, make all kinds of prayer, like pray in tongues, pray in the spirit, pray in words, pray with your mind, pray with your heart, pray with your brain, pray all kinds of prayers and pray for the lord's people i think even further than he says that we all go through tribulations we all go through things so that's why we ought to pray for each other so that we may be strengthened in the lord so i felt god telling me that day he was like i want you to start praying for people every thursday and every sunday and you know by the time god told me like i told you he first called me to intercession in march and then i will it was in october by then that period where i was struggling to pray for people falling down getting up god really i don't know he was healing my heart and showing me that it's not because you pray for people that your life is put to the side you know actually as a matter of fact the more when you pray for people when you care about god's business god cares about your business you know when you help god god helps you basically that's how it goes because god is faithful and you know that this life with god it's it's a covenant you enter in a covenant with god the moment you receive his son in your life it's like a marriage it's like you're one so god gives you his things and you give him your things you know he gives you his burden and you give him your burdens and even the bible says in matthew jesus was saying he was saying uh, telling to his disciples he was like come to me all you who are burdened and i will give you rest but then later on he says 
take upon you my yoke because it's easy it is soft so the burden of god is actually an easy burden and sometimes uh one of the burden that god puts on your heart he puts on you the thirst for the souls the the this desire to see the 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 people the people of god or even the people in general being like living well or um you you like desire their well-being it's like genuine love you know god is love god loves all of us and that's even why he gave his only son for all who believe to save us you know and that's basically that the more i was spending time with god the more i was seeking his face and stuff that's how i started developing like this love of god for people and feeling like yeah when god told me in october to pray for people every thursday and sunday you remember i was already praying for my family once a week so that was going to be three days of intercession three out of seven days i was praying for other people and that was for me when god told it to me in october it didn't feel like oh my god if i pray for them what's going to happen to me no it really felt like yes this is actually what i have to do because god had done a lot of work inside of me he had healed a lot he had built like a trust in my heart to enable me to be used by him to intercede for people so i started like this and i i posted like on my whatsapp i wrote something like hey the lord told me that he wants me to start praying for people every thursday and sunday so if you have a prayer request please send it to me i wrote something as simple as that and people's reaction were like wow this is so cute you know they texted me like three four people texted me and then it was it was cute in the beginning but then the next day i didn't receive any request and then the next week i received probably like one request and it felt like okay well god told me to do this but i'm not finding requests to pray for people are not texting me and uh, i don't know i got this idea in my heart and i felt something telling me you know you you know your friends you know your surrounding you know your family you know their needs when you look at so and so what does he need what does she need you know and so i started you know making up requests from what i knew from people for example if i had this friend whom i knew was applying for uni i could say oh i know so and so is applying for uni so let me pray for their application to be successful <laughs> oh i know so and so uh, is getting ready for her marriage or for her wedding so let me pray for her wedding i know so and so is looking for a job so let me pray so i was inventing requests and that's how i started you know praying for people it was not easy because i had a book i had bought a book <laughs> for intercession but i had nothing to write there so every every thursday and sunday i had blank pages i was like okay today i just prayed for three people and uh, yeah that's how it started but then i wasn't getting discouraged and then i remember there is this day i took a i think two days uh, prayer retreat um for intercession and that day when i prayed my god God spoke to me. He showed me so many things. He showed me uh like so much like prophecies about the lives of some of my friends of my families. I had messages for a few people and then I texted them and you know when I told them that it was like God was lifting or taking me to the next dimension of intercession. So people started started to 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 be more open to me because you know i mean if someone tells you i want to pray for you tell me your problems i mean if you don't trust the person you're not going to open up about your life you know but then after after that prayer retreat people started being more open to me because they realized that this was really the work of god so my sisters my friends my you know the people around me people from church they were texting me and telling me oh you know i'm going through this and that and then i can even share this like i thank god for reminding me this while i was um posting every thursday and every sunday intercession flyers i had some of my friends that uh were not saved yet 
they kept seeing my posts every week every week and they were like oh my god like this thirst that you have for jesus is just tearing up something in me i feel like i also want to meet the lord i feel like i also want to change so it was no longer just about praying for people's problems but i started through that ministry bringing people to the lord people came to me they said i i i struggle with this i try to pray it doesn't work blah 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 and then i could end up preaching the gospel to them and telling them that god loves them and i even brought two of my closest friends to christ through the intercession ministry and i really praise god for that so this was really an amazing experience but that was just the beginning so i kept on you know posting and people continue trusting me so i moved from a small book to a bigger one and i started you know writing uh, the requests from people in my book so the book was really big and the the request kept on adding on adding on adding my god it was so much i got tired at some point i had so many requests and i was tired of always writing them you know making a table writing a because i was following a format that i learned from discipleship classes that i got from my church and the format was you write the the date you received the request you write the request you write the verses in the bible that can help you pray for that request and then you have another column where you write what the lord has done and what the lord has told you about that situation so i was tired of always making new tables new table it was so hard because i had so many requests and that was in the year of 2020 2021 that was really when people started sending me too many requests and that was only through whatsapp and then after when i went back on ig because that's another story that i will share to you probably but i think i shared it on my blooming in the love of god series yeah i had left instagram and then i came back so when i came back on ig it was a whole explosion now people started really sending me so many requests and i don't know it really reached a point where you know when you intercede for people like i said it my fear was i am going to pray for others but what about me but really praying for others drew me close to god it brought me close to god to a point that god could show me someone and speak to me about them god could even lead me in my conversations with people people could speak to me and i could like advise them or pray with them and it really um, got to a point where it increased my intimacy with god like it it strengthened my intimacy with god i don't know how to explain it. so as i was interceding for people i thought i was just sacrificing myself for them to be well but the truth is i was sacrificing myself but i was before god so god and me we became friends and uh, it it really i don't know it really stirred up my faith in him because sometimes you pray for yourself and you don't see things moving uh, in the instant or in the moment but when you pray for a person and then you see god acting you see god moving here you see god moving there and it was your prayer or let me say your prayer was part of what helped that person you're like okay god hears my prayers you know it really built my faith to the point that i was praying for people easily now before i used to kneel down and scream and yell you know because i was like i was still working my faith but the more because i was praying not only for me but for others as well when i could see someone coming back to me and saying hey uh god has done it you know it actually worked out it was kind of building my faith so it was a great experience um and i just wanted to share this testimony to encourage all of you to pray today it's almost four years i'm praying for people i am not like the most powerful people i know i don't i don't lay hands and people fall down no <laughs> I, I don't you know i'm just like a simple christian praying for people but like today people text me uh they send me their requests and because of how god has built that trust in me 
I bring their request with confidence. Sometimes I encourage them and I see, like the more I pray for them, the more I see God moving. And lately there is something that I started doing. I started um, posting uh, Thanksgiving because in the beginning it was just intercession, you know, tell me your burden, let's pray about it. But then the more I was moving into that, I felt God telling me, yes, you guys, you pray for your problems, but I don't see you coming back to say thank you. And I started feeling like that, um, I don't know if I can call it that jealousy. I was like, where's the praise of God? You know, like we pray, but we don't bring back glory to him when he does things. I was like, I receive requests, but I don't receive the 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 you know the answers what did god do for this person so i started texting people personally i was like hey i remember you sent me a request like how is it now did it work out you know i started going to look for people to give me like an update on their situation and it was quite hard because you know sometimes people i don't know they're really quick to send you requests but then when it, everything is okay you know they they kind of keep silent or they get busy or stuff but then with the grace of god some of the people could come back and say hey you prayed for me thank you so much god did it so i don't know but the holy spirit inspired me to start posting um uh, to start posting like those uh those thanksgiving messages and when i started posting them i posted one and then someone else texted and say oh i forgot to tell you this and this and that and then i posted the second one and now almost every week i post a praise report and i really praise god for it so the moral of the testimony is this our god is a god of miracles it's he's a god of wonders he's a god that does extremely great things i don't know if this testimony made sense to you but what i really wanted to share with you today is that so many times um first we lose faith in god and we try to always make things in our ways but intercession taught me that god is actually the first solution we should try whenever we face a challenge and it works and the second thing I learned actually after learning to put my trust in God, after learning to put my faith in God, I learned to bring back praise to him, you know, and today I proudly, you know, work in this ministry feeling like I carry the glory of God because this, this work I do, this intercession that I do pushes people to believe in God, even those who don't have uh, that, that much faith, even those who who don't really live godly lives, when they are struggling, you know, God is the hope that may be the last hope that they have. So when I pray for them, I, I feel like I carry the glory of, it no longer feels like I'm carrying the burdens of others, but I feel more like it's not about me. You know trying to prove god but it's about i don't know it's it's god proving himself so i am just a tool introducing god to people i just take the burdens in the name of god but the one who works is actually god so the thing i learned in this intercession is to bring glory to god you know when we pray and i don't remember the verse that shows it to us in the bible but when we pray we glorify God. And when we intercede, we glorify God in the lives of others. You know, your faith can save someone. Your faith can change somebody's life. So I would really like to encourage you to intercede. Today, I just shared you my experience and what happened to me can happen to you. You know, I am nothing, you know, I'm just a normal Christian who accepted the call of God, who started with her family, you know, maybe we will not all pray for everyone but you can start with the people around you you can start with your family you can start with your spouse you can start with your your colleagues you can start with the people around you and believe me when you see the glory of god even it's even easier to preach the gospel to someone for whom you have prayed and god has shown up 
because then you tell them you see we have prayed and god is faithful god loves you it's easy to tell someone god loves you when the power of god when his glory has manifested in their life so i want to say this last thing and this is something that our pastor told us he told us that we were all called to be intercessors we have different um talents we have different gifts some of us will be pastors some of us will be teachers worshipers you know evangelists apostles we all have different calls but we have this one thing in common we were all called to intercede we were all called to intercede and fight jesus said many times watch out and pray watch out and pray watch out and he was telling his disciples watch out and pray and even his disciples after observing the life of jesus they were like jesus teach us how to pray master teach us how to pray because prayer is such a powerful weapon so i just want to end the video here encouraging everyone to pray for your family we are christ's ambassadors on earth you know it's through our prayers that god can move without you and me the holy spirit cannot act we are the representatives we are the vessels through which god acts so if you and me we don't intercede the world the situations the circumstances of this life will not change but it's up to you and me to stand up and pray for people pray for our families pray for our workplaces pray for our uh, schools and stuff like that so i just want to encourage you and tell you to get up you don't need to pray for hours and hours you don't need to speak in tongues of course god can give the grace for that but start with what you have you have jesus in your heart you have a faith that took you out from sin and that delivered you from so much you can give freely what you have gained freely so may god bless you all for listening to this testimony i hope it helps may god bless you all i love you Bye -bye.